Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna to be checking out FSR 3.0 on the Steam Deck. So let's get started. Now FSR 3.0 is very new technology on increasing your frame rates on lower generation cards like something on the Steam Deck or older graphic cards like the 1070 or the AMD 580s and stuff like that. The technology that they use is basically optical flow. So if you are a video editor and you understand what optical flow is, it basically takes a video that you filmed say at 30 frames per second, but you want to make it slow motion, but you actually need 60 frames per second in the same footage. Optical flow will actually create the frames in between that video to generate 60 frames. With that same technology in mind, it's actually using optical flow to create the newer frames for FSR 3.0. So that's how we are getting from 30 or 40 frames per second up to 80 frames per second, almost double every time when I have this enabled. I love that they're bringing this technology to gaming so even older devices like what I have over here or the Steam Deck can still keep up with AAA titles that require 50, 60 frames per second to play. Now this is a mod for games, not just the Steam Deck. It actually works for Linux PCs, Windows PCs, and everything like that but again it is still a mod so it's not natively supported in all the games this is actually bringing fsr 3.0 to games that don't support it yet namely cyberpunk now cyberpunk only supports fsr 2.1 we're basically using this mod so it could actually have fsr 3.0 with frame generation now the crevice about this is not all games support this mod uh, the only ones that are supported are the ones that actually have uh, AMD FSR built in. So Cyberpunk has FSR built in, so you could actually use that. Uh, there's other games like Hogwarts Legacy and a few other games that actually have AMD FSR supported. Then you can actually use this mod for that game. But if you have a game like Rebel Galaxy Outlaw or Risk of Rain that actually does not have anything to do with FSR, you won't be able to use this mod on there. Now, with that being said, I'm not going to show you the installation steps on how to get this working. There are a lot of videos out there. There are a lot of tutorials, a lot of Reddit posts on how to get this up. And believe me, when I read Cyberpunk, there was like three different variations already. So whatever I try to show you to install now might be different tomorrow. So I'm not even gonna show you the installation stuff, but I am gonna leave a link to Luke's Patreon where you can get all the files that you need to enable FSR 3.0. So right now we're going to be checking out Cyberpunk 2077 and this does not have FSR 3.0 enabled. Um, the game launch options I only have is command, intro skip, start screen skip, and launcher skip. So that is it. All right, as far as the options go I have right now is the Steam Deck preset and then it's using AMD uh, FSR 2.1 and it's on balance. So I'm just going to leave everything like that. I'm going to hit continue and I think I'm going to spawn somewhere in the alleyway or something like that. I don't remember. All right, so here we are. We're facing a wall. We're getting about 40, 50 frames per second. That's really, really good. Let me see if I could head over to some alleyway right over here. Nope. Uh, this way. And you can see I'm doing about 41 frames per second. I'm going to run a little bit. 38, 37, 35. I see people walking around. There's some cars. I'm going to walk around this alleyway right over here. There's a lot of stuff going on. It's like 30 frames per second, 45. To be honest, it's really not bad. Even with AMD FSR, it's ex extremely playable at 30 frames per second like this. So this is how I've been playing it for now. Actually just using AMD FSR 2.1 and keeping it around 30 frames per second. And you can see it's not bad. I mean, I could run around. I'm going to pull out a gun. Let's swap this. Shotgun, let's swap this again. Do I have another gun? Nope, it's handgun again. So let's pop this guy. Let's just cause him crime. And where are you guys going? There you go. There's a cop over here. This game is so violent. But yeah. That's it. It's about 37 frames per second. It hovers around there. So now we're going to jump into FSR 3.0. So here we have Cyberpunk screen. I'm going to go into settings and go into properties. And if I scroll down a little bit, you can see it's actually got the uh, Wine DLL overrides and then the Win MM equals NB. So that's what you really need to activate the FSR 3.0. And then I have some other options at the back like intro skip and stuff like that. So that's what we need to add. Now if I hit play, we're gonna see this one little indicator that actually tells us that the mod is loaded. So, and there you go, you see that? That means it's loaded and it's gonna work. 
All right, and to show you how the settings look like, I'm gonna go over here, head over to graphics, and this is what I have enabled right now. So I have custom, but what I usually do is set this over to Steam Deck pref uh, preset, and then I'll modify the settings because it'll change all the other settings along with it. And keep in mind, you need this frame generation on in order to, to erase the glitching effect. And then that's about it. So I'm gonna load into a game. And this is gonna be the same area that we loaded from before with uh, FSR 2.1. And here we go. You can see we're already getting 70 frames per second, 80 frames per second. It's about double what we were having before. And I'm just gonna walk around like we did before. Let's run over here. We're getting 60 frames, 65, 70. Roaming over here, 58. It's hard to tell, but there are a little bit of a ghosting effect. I think I noticed it when I was walking over here a little bit. And look at directly at the poles. If I move up and down, you can kind of see a little bit of a ghosting effect on those poles. I don't know if you can see it right now, but definitely show signs of little ghosting here and there. And that's the problem with optical flow because it's trying to generate those frames that are missing to um, make it to 60 frames per second or higher. It creates these little um, shadows or ghosting effects. And yeah, I'm not gonna go too crazy into playing this game. It's just to show you guys what the frame rates can be done. And we're at 60 plus. We haven't really gone down under that. Um, I'm gonna pull out a gun. Let's see if I swap the gun to something with a scope. Uh, this has a scope, so let's do this. And yeah, it still looks pretty good. There you go, shoot some bad guys. I'm gonna holster that weapon for now. And yeah, I'm just running around and it's still keeping around 60 frames per second. Ooh, I'm probably gonna die. It's very hard to play the game like this, but as you can see, it's doing very, very well. And uh, my consoles and everything is not glitching out. I'm able to move around. I'm getting all the frames that I need. Anyway, as far as my final thoughts on this, it's great that we do have the ability to play AAA titles and getting it up to 60 frames per second or even more depending on the game. It's really cool. But the downside is I don't really feel like, honestly, it got to 60 frames per second. To me, as I'm playing the game, it still feels like 45 frames per second while it did increase from the 30 that we were playing from before I don't necessarily feel it's smoother or faster like it was before even though the number displays it is faster like 70 or 80 frames that we saw from cyberpunk it doesn't feel that way to me so that's my only regards to playing around with the uh, FSR 3.0 and I think it has to mainly do with because of the optical flow trying to generate those frames and causing the ghosting effect and when I'm playing it doesn't feel as fluid but I play a lot of games on my 3080 and I know how 60 frames or 75 frames feel like compared to what uh, FSR 3.0 is trying to deliver, if that makes any sense. But anyway, uh, that is it for me. I don't know too much about issues with this. I know there are issues because it's still beta drivers. So if you do have any questions or if you are running into issues with this, check out his Discord. The, somebody probably answered it. There's a lot of Reddit posts on what to do on certain situations. So definitely check that out. I wouldn't be able to answer you because a lot of this stuff I had to research and figure out how to install it onto Cyberpunk myself. So yeah, keep that in mind. And if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say, my Nerd Cave, hack till it hurts.